Hi friends, this is Cindy Blair. I'm one of the educators at the Alexandria Museum of Art and today I am coming to you from a cozy corner of my home to bring you this week's Art Therapy Thursday. Last week we did a mindfulness drawing exercise from the book Drawing Your Own Path by John Simon who is um, an artist in our permanent collection. And this week I'm going to do an extension of that with you. Um, we're gonna build from that exercise. So if you wanna reference last week's, go check out our YouTube channel or our Facebook page and you should be able to find that. Um, and that one's called Mindful Doodling. Um, this week we are going to just take that a step further and get a little bit more involved and do something called Zentangling. And um, that's a meditative practice that was actually created by um, an artist, a couple of artists in Massachusetts, uh, Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas. So um, find yourself a comfy place to sit and um, you might want to grab a piece of paper and something to draw with. That's about all you're going to need. I'm actually going to use my sketchbook that I made um, this, t this past Tuesday. Um, during AMOA's Art Together Tuesday. So um, if you want to learn how to make that, go check out that on our YouTube channel as, and our Facebook page as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with just a few deep breaths. As you exhale, I want you to release any stress that you might have in your shoulders or in your hands, in your arms. Just let it go. Just let it, picture it melting away. So we're going to have our hands relaxed with um, a writing implement. And I want you in near your corners, it doesn't have to be in the corners, make some dots. I'm doing this with a pencil. I'm going to start with a pencil and then switch over to black pen. Um, and then I'm just going to let go and make some curvy lines. from dot to dot. This is gonna be your border. And just sort of let those lines happen. Now, I'm gonna create some lines across the page from corner to corner diagonally. Wavy lines, don't worry about making them straight. So now I've got four sections that I'm going to be creating my Zentangle within. Now I'm going to switch to my black pen. And right here, you're just going to allow yourself to make all different kinds of shapes and patterns. And you're going to start in one of your corners. And you're going to allow your pattern to grow echoing the shape of your section. Just think about all the different kinds of lines you can make, the different kinds of marks. And you're going to fill that space as completely as possible. Don't overthink it, just let it happen. OK, 
you find yourself thinking too deeply about this, take another deep breath and just let it go. You can turn your page anytime you feel like it. Just trust yourself. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it here for now. <sighs> I actually did find um, that pretty relaxing. Now, if I wanted to at this point, if I um, had some color nearby, crayons, uh, color pencils, Sharpies, whatever you have, I could then sort of go back into it with some color if I wanted to. So that's just an extension there for you if you find coloring to be relaxing. All right. But um, for this one, I'm gonna leave it right here. Okay, so how was that? Um, just sit back for a second. <sighs> Take another deep breath and think about how that felt for you today. Um, were you able to let go? Were you able to allow one shape to flow into the other? Um, as you move forward in your practice, and it is a practice, <laughs> um, you know, just sort of be mindful of how these things feel and um, just each time you go into it, try to breathe a little deeper. <laughs> and um, hopefully this has brought you some relaxing um, moments in your day. 
Um, I just know it has for me. I'm incredibly grateful to be able to bring this to you guys every Thursday. So um, enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope you have a lovely Easter weekend. Um, take care and be well. Thank you.